And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hello, I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Peter Chan, and this is Alaska Weather on this Monday, November 10th, 2025. And we have a number of things to talk about again as related to Alaska weather headlines. We have another low moving into the Gulf with a front pushing up along the northeastern Gulf Coast into the Panhandle that's going to bring more rain, snow to the coastal mountains, and some gusty winds. And then after we get by that, that system will weaken later Tuesday into Wednesday. Three coronal mass ejections from the sun could trigger strong geomagnetic uh, storm conditions at times, as well as vivid aurora as far south as the mid-latitudes of the lower 48. In areas of Alaska, it will be in prime viewing conditions with cold, clear skies across the interior. We're keeping an eye on the potential for a very deep, powerful North Pacific low to develop that could track across the Aleutians into the Bering Sea this weekend. It's still a bit early to, there's not a ton of confidence. We're kind of waiting to see here next couple of days. Do the models come into agreement with this system and just how strong it might be and where it might exactly track, but that's something we'll be keeping a close eye on. Meanwhile, along the south slopes of the Brooks Range, Shugnak, clear skies, 12 degrees. You can even see an almost last quarter moon in the sky there. And then McCoryk, partly sunny, 32. As we get down here toward the Aleutians, Dutch Harbor, low overcast, 44. And there's going to be a windy front working its way through the western and central Aleutians tonight into Tuesday with some storm force winds. Cape Spencer for the uh, outer coast there of the Panhandle. Rain, fog, breezy conditions this Monday afternoon, 42. So we have at least three coronal mass ejections that will be arriving later today into Tuesday and Wednesday. A couple of these have been low-end X-class solar flares that were Earth-directed. So there's a good chance that we're going to see uh, strong geomagnetic storm conditions at times, maybe starting uh, tonight into early Tuesday morning and then through the midweek period. Now that's not something that's just constant, but when you do get those stronger uh, storm conditions, that's gonna enhance the aurora and allow it to extend all the way down into mid latitudes uh, into the lower 48. So here in Alaska where skies are clear, could have some uh, rather vivid aurora at some point this week. So keep your eyes peeled. And the last quarter moon occurs Tuesday evening, so we'll start to see uh, some waning light. Now, uh, the only advisory in effect is up here for around Chilkoot White Pass, where there could be some additional snowfall tonight as a result of that low pressure in the Gulf and the front lifting northward. So uh, several inches of snow could fall there in the, uh, as you get up, up above uh, Skagway. But aside from that, fairly quiet conditions across the rest of the state. And here we have that low pressure moving up into the central Gulf and with the front pushing into the inner channels, the panhandle, we have a, on this east side of the low, there could even be a flash of lightning rumble of thunder as that's a pretty strong signature and lift in the atmosphere. Back to the west, here is that windy front that's entering the western Aleutians tonight with some storm force winds. Late tonight into early uh, Tuesday morning, here's the low over the Gulf. It'll begin to fill and weaken. We still have a weak uh, low out along the lower Yukon coast with some lower cloudiness and some lingering light snow showers or flurries. That feature will also tend to weaken as we get into Tuesday afternoon and uh, during the day Wednesday. But you can see already by Tuesday afternoon, the low kind of retrogrades to the west and weakens. The occluded front just kind of washes out over the panhandle, but still lingering showers, rain showers for low elevations and uh, inner channel coastal areas with snow up into the inner coastal mountains. And then this low uh, out way out toward the Kamchatka coast with this front pushing through the uh, western central Aleutians will have some storm force winds, at the very least gale force winds, as we go through the day on Tuesday into Wednesday. Still, the low continues to weaken in the Gulf along the Kenai coast with just kind of a remnant trough and a low that's sitting off of Vancouver Island and the Pacific Northwest of the lower 48. But out here to the west, this front just kind of elongates, extends a little further north and east and weakens. Could be a little light snow or some snow showers push up in along the uh, Kuskokwim uh, coastline in Bristol Bay as well as Nunavik Island. And then on Thursday, uh, we find the old 
front just kind of washing out here over the southwest interior inland from Kuskokwim and Bristol Bays into the southwestern gulf east of Kodiak Island. And the storm we're going to have to watch is still a couple days away uh, south-southwest then of, of the Aleutians and that would be uh, still way down in the North Pacific, but it is something we'll keep a close eye on. In the meantime, it gets colder across the interior with the clear skies and some snow cover. Low temperatures in some areas will be getting down in the double digits below zero. As for uh, the Panhandle, many readings uh, in the 30s above freezing, even near 40, Sitka down through uh, Ketchikan and, and uh, Prince of Wales Island. As we trail out along the Alaska Peninsula into the Aleutians, lows generally near 40 degrees. Highs on Tuesday afternoon will be confined to the single digits across much of the central northern interior. Still could hit 50 around uh, Klawak or Craig. In fact, it did hit 60 on Sunday afternoon at Klawak as a result of that push, that windy push of heavy rain that came up with a front. But uh, out to the west, uh, 29 up there at Savunga, near freezing at Makoriak, otherwise near 30 along the y, uh, YK deltas into uh, Bristol Bay. And uh, low temperatures again Wednesday morning, some areas in the double digits uh, below zero, uh, near Fairbanks and uh, not much more to the, to the west. We also find uh, temperatures generally above freezing for the panhandle. Because of the snow cover from the heavier snowfall uh, that fell Thursday afternoon and night uh, in South Central, especially around the Anchorage Bowl, any clearing will lead to colder temperatures getting down into the teens, uh, some single digits, certainly up toward Talkeetna, and then coming down along the Alaska Peninsula near or just above 40 as we get out into the Aleutians. Highs on Wednesday afternoon confined to the single digits, generally above zero for the central northern interior. And then uh, reading still in the 40s in the uh, outer uh, western and southern part of the panhandle. We also see some temperatures with that front that's going to be coming eastward across the Aleutians into the Alaska Peninsula. Maybe a little bit of a bump to the high temperatures Wednesday afternoon, at least into the mid, maybe even some upper 40s as a result of that front coming northeastward, but it weakening. So here's uh, what we got coming up mid-month, just beyond, November 16th through the 20th. Above normal temperatures coming up into the southwest mainland, into south central from Anchorage down around Cook Inlet, the Kenai Peninsula extending down along Bristol Bay and the Alaska Peninsula into the Aleutians. Above normal temperatures are not necessarily a good thing in the later fall or early winter and as you get into November and December because Warmer air mass allows for more moisture to be in the atmosphere. So that's going to translate to above normal precipitation, which could be an indicator of a storm. All it takes is one storm to fling some moisture back uh, into this area of South Central, and it can be in the form of some heavier snowfall. Still a little far away to determine that, but the fact that the signature is for above normal precipitation over the southern mainland uh, want to keep an eye on things because places that remain in colder air, it could be some heavier snow. And if you can get into a little milder air, it could be a icy mix. So stay tuned to later forecast as we get past mid-month, November 16th through the 20th.